Hi and welcome to this video tutorial on blending light trails back into your HDR images. Today we're going to be working with this image of um, Milau Viaduct. And as you can see to the right we have some light trails going through the bridge. And on the HDR image, after using photomatics, um, we, we're left with this kind of tear in the space-time continuum. It's a very unusual kind of output. I don't know why it does that. And if you look at the original exposure, the zero exposure, you can see the light trails as they should be. But like I say, for some reason after using photomatics, it never quite um, comes out right. Some people like to um, layer in the original exposure by using a layer mask and painting some of the original light back. It can be very time consuming. And also if the texture around the light trails um, is different between the HDR exposure and the original exposure, you'll end up with very inconsistent details, textures and, and, and light. So it never quite looks right. The best way to do it, um, the quickest way, is simply by going down to your blend mode option in the layers panel, um, left clicking on normal and changing the blend mode to, um, oh, this is the original exposure on the top, that's very important. Now change the blend mode to lighten. What's happened there? If I just go into the HDR image now and I make the original exposure invisible, Everything on the HDR image um, at the bottom has stayed the same, apart from the light trails, as you can see. Now, what's actually happened here? We've asked Photoshop to look at the two images, to look at the zero exposure and compare it to the HDR image, and to keep everything in the original exposure that is brighter than in the HDR image. Um, so in order to make this work, you, we have to have our HDR image slightly brighter than the zero exposure, apart from in the areas um, where the light trails are. So the best way to do that is just to raise the gamma in photomatics. It's very easy. Now, we don't have to limit this to just one exposure. Um, if we look at the same bridge, a different photograph, the HDR image again is at the bottom. And as we can see again, the light, the light trails are kind of that weird that weird tear in your image. Um, I don't know how to describe it, but it's very, very odd. And then we have the zero exposure, where we have light trails along here. This is the minus two exposure, where we have light trails here and here. And the plus two exposure, where we have light trails at the back, right at the end. I don't know if you can see it. Right there. Now, again, I'm just going to make them invisible and I'm going to change the blend mode like we did before to lighten. This one by one. And you can see that now the light trails have suddenly appeared on the bridge. Um, and there it was before. Now with the higher exposure, the brighter exposure, because that's generally a brighter image, if I change that um, to lighten, you'll see that the image actually changes. The HDR image is now affected, or the overall image is affected. Because like I said before, Photoshop is looking at the brighter exposure and it's keeping the brightest parts of the image in comparison to the HDR image. So it's affecting the sky and the bridge and things that we don't want it to affect. So what we have to do is actually mask some of that back, like I mentioned at the beginning of the tutorial. So um, it's a very straightforward process. To do that, we create a black layer mask by pressing Alt and Control, um, sorry, Alt and left mouse click, and then we zoom in to the bridge and you can see it's invisible. Now we choose the paintbrush, make sure the colors on white, and we have 100% opacity, and just slowly paint in some of that original exposure. And it's as simple as that. Now, with a mixture of different blend modes, um, using lighten and masking, we now have all of the light trails necessary and we can continue processing the HDR image. It really is just um, that simple. And this technique isn't limited just to light trails. You can use it with fireworks, with laser shows, anything where you're trying to bring in a brighter part of an image that isn't encapsulated in the HDR image. And this isn't limited to HDR. Photography, you can do it with any type of imagery. So I hope you found this useful and it's the first of many video tutorials so by all means subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow me on Facebook and Google Plus. 
Thank you very much.